Hello, YouTube family. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody's doing good. Wanted to greet you to you again from my In Touch devotional. Um, this devotional is entitled Standing Tall Through Praying. I'll be reading from my Bible, Nehemiah 1. The words of Nehemiah, the son of Petera, and it came to pass in the month Shivu, in the twentieth twentieth year, as I was in Shushan, the palace, the Hana Nai. One of my brethren came, he and certain men of Judah, and I asked them concerning the Jews that had escaped, which were left of the captivity, and concerning Jerusalem. And they said unto me, The remnant that are left of the captivity there in the province are in great affliction and reproach. The wall of Jerusalem also is broken down, and the gates thereof are burned with fire. And it came to pass, when I heard these words, that I sat down and wept, and mourned certain days, and fasted and prayed before the God of heaven, and said, I beseech thee, O Lord God of heaven, the great and terrible God, that kept that keepeth covenant and mercy for them that love him and observe his commandments. Let thine ear now be attentive and thine eyes open that thou mayest hear the prayer of the, thy servant, which I pray before thee now, day and night, for the children of Israel, thy servants, and confess the sins of the children of Israel, which we have sinned against thee. Both I and my father's house have sinned. We have dealt very corruptly against thee, and have not kept the commandments, nor the statutes, nor the judgments, which thou commandest thy servant Moses. Remember, I beseech thee, the word that thou commandest thy servant Moses, saying, If ye transgress, I will scatter you abroad among the nations. But if ye turn unto me, and keep my commandments, and do them, though there were of you cast out unto the uttermost part of the heaven, yet I will gather them from the tent, and will bring them unto the place that I have chosen to set my name there. Now these are thy servants and thy people, whom thou hast redeemed by thy great power and by thy strong hand. O Lord, I beseech thee, let now thine ear be attentive to the prayer of thy servant, and to the prayer of thy servant, who desire to fear thy name and prosper, I pray thee, thy servant this day, and grant him mercy in the sight of this man. For I was the king's cupbearer. And that was Nehemiah 1. Now I'll read the devotion. 
Nehemiah spent time praying on his knees. When he needed guidance, strength, provision, or protection, he responded with prayer. Because of this attitude of dependence, God was able to use Nehemiah to achieve his divine purpose. This is also true for believers today. God will use us if we seek him and make ourselves available. He wants his children to be part of his work and has, has a purpose for each of us. If you want to follow Nehemiah's example of dependent prayer, first recognize God as the sovereign ru ruler of the universe. Although he's our loving father and loyal friend, we must never forget that he is also our high and exalted creator, whose holiness is beyond our comprehension. We don't want to casually think of him as the man upstairs or come into his presence in a frivolous manner. As one who respected God's holiness, Nehemiah approached him with confession, admitting not only his own sin, but his father's and Israel's as well. We cannot hide, deny, or cherish sin and expect the Lord to hear and answer our prayers. Purity of heart and the power of God are linked. We need the Holy Spirit to help us remind, remain sensitive to sin and be willing to deal with it immediately. The reason Nehemiah stood so tall had nothing to do with his natural abilities. Rather, it was because he had developed a relationship of dependency on the Lord through prayer. The same can be true for you. Rely on the Lord and let him be your strength. Amen. Okay, that's it for the devotional. I hope you liked it. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. And until I see you again, God bless you all. Goodbye.